Hello everybody, welcome back to Ravenport with me, Golf Cart Jockey. We are back at the home of Jockey Inc. And looks like we're having an early morning race there. Here goes uh, Joe and Jesse racing to finish field number 11 here. Get this um, wheat put away, get it harvested, picked up, get the straw picked up and put away. And we're going to turn this field real quick, see how fast we can get it flipped and turned into a cotton field. So, uh, that's mainly what those two guys are in charge of, uh, is uh, running our little cotton enterprise here. See what we can do with that. So, those guys are off and running. I have a full trailer here. And I also have the small harvester, uh, our harvester, over there tidying up the edges. Oh, there it is down there. These two guys are on lease. Um, just wanted to knock this field out. And well, well, actually, the field I wanted to knock out was field 13. Beside of field 6 and 12 that we own, it was a big oat field. So I wanted to get that turned last night. We bought it, harvested the oats, put them away, and uh, sold it again. So. We did not keep any straw off of it. I figure we'll have we'll have the barns full just off of that field and field 12. So we still haven't finished picking up 12. So I don't think we'll be able to pick all this up and put it away in our hay lofts. We have two, which gives us half a million liters, but I still don't think that's enough. So uh, we'll either have to bale some or we'll just have to go sell it. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet, but. Uh, that's a good problem to have, you know. Too much is is always a good thing. So, let's go get this emptied out. We will let those guys finish racing. It says one of them has a full green tank. How's that already? Having 80%. Okay, anyways. <laughs> anyways. We will get this, we will let those guys race and finish the end of that field there. And we will go back and jump in the 560 and finish harvesting, get that put away. Um, oh, yeah, I know what we have to do today. Very important task. That's why we had to go get oats last night. Because Xavier's here. He showed up yesterday evening. Hey, buddy. Looking good. Can we clean him up? Nah, he's not dirty. Not dirty. And this is Xavier's buddy. Uh, we'll just call him Glue. Don't don't worry about Glue. Glue's not going to be hanging around long. Glue has a Glue has a date. He just doesn't know it yet. So uh, <laughs> don't don't get too attached. He's got to go. But yeah, Xavier's here. That's awesome. So we'll have to take Xavier out and ride him a little bit. Get him leveled up. Um, and there is, let's see, that's sheep right there. We got some sheep we have to go purchase today. So we have about 257 thousand. We're not maxed out at the bank, but I don't want to get that way. I'm gonna actually start lowering the bank loan instead of raising it. So uh, maybe we can get to a point where we've got everything that we need. I sure hope so. Anyway. So we got the uh, chickens are looking good, buddy. We are producing a lot of a lot of cardboard boxes there, looking good. No, actually the egg count is whoa goodness, watch out, watch yourself. The egg count is actually going up. So eggs, the chickens are they are doing their thing. I am finally a productive chicken farmer, if nothing else. We we made it do what it said it was going to do. So that is a good thing. Oh, look at these guys. They are in quite a race up here. Uh-oh. Looks like Joe was out front by a nose and, and filled up his tank first. Holding up the race. I like it. That's one way to hold on to the lead right there. Don't let him around you, Joe. Good job, buddy. So, let me get him emptied out. We will... Like I say, I'm going to jump over to our harvester and finish off the side of the field over there. 
get it all tidied up and then we will have to we'll have to start picking up straw we're gonna have to do a lot of straw pickup really quick so i wish that was something we could hire a worker for but looks like we're all on our own for that one so uh yeah let me go take care of that and i'll be right back I forgot what else we had to do today we had to come pick up our sheep we have I believe it was 38 sheep we had on order that will give us a nice little flock there to get us started so I forgot they were coming in today so we got the call that they were here brought the truck down picked them up we will go get these guys in the pen and get them taken care of they're gonna need some water and some hay right away so might as well get them taken care of we will get uh, get some wool production started so not a bad thing that is a very big step forward so as of now we will have uh, what I say 250 some chickens uh, two horses well one horse really one horse that's profitable the other horse is um, sentimental let's say <laughs> Xavier's he's not for sale so it'd take a pretty big offer to get that one so We'll just stay one horse just for selling purposes. So, yeah, it's quite a big, quite a big um, herd we're developing. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a horse. There's a sheep, cows. So I guess the only thing next is to move on to the cows. Let's see, that looks like probably the unloading point right there. Now the cows will have everything we need except for a power food mixer. So we'll need to invest in one of those, get that taken care of. But I don't think we're in a real big hurry to get to the cows. Um, man, we're going to have our hands full here. Let's see, move... Well, I have to do this individually and I can't just unload them all, but that's all right. Confirm. So I think the trailer's empty. Yes, we have 38 sheep. They are white sheep. They need water and grass or hay. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So let's take care of that. We also have to... We may as well go through and do a little maintenance on all the animals the chickens are very very dirty they have a lot that needs to be cleaned up so we may as well go do that and uh, take care of Xavier and glue they need to be ridden they've they're taken care of and clean and everything but we gotta get uh, get their exercise in for the day so oh yeah there we go I forgot I brought the, our little telehandler up already so he's sitting there waiting to clean the chickens get this guy put away and uh, do a little animal maintenance a little animal TLC pretty big shed we got here look how long this thing is it'll hold the whole whole rig plus a tether behind it so yeah oh wait we don't need this do we 
You just leave him here for now. Oh man, what a beautiful day here at Jockey Inc. Looking good, beautiful little house. Could use a little, little paint on the house there, couldn't we? Paint's not holding up very well. That's all right. You can see we had to take a little break from the the straw collection. We got most of field 12 done. Haven't even started on 11 yet, but um, definitely don't think we're going to get it all picked up and put in in our haylofts. We're going to run out of space before that happens, so uh, figure out what else we're going to do with it. I don't know if we're going to... I could lend a... But, excuse me. I could lease a baler. We could bale all the straw and leave it here at the farm. Just uh, put it under one of these shelters here. That's always an option. It's not. We're not going to do silage bales, so we don't need the bale count or the bale limit, you know, per se. So it wouldn't wouldn't hurt us in that way. Why is it pouring out on the ground all of a sudden? So I understand that it filled the trough up, but then it should stop. Anyways, <laughs> it always, on 17, it would always just stop tipping whenever the animals got full. But that's all right, whatever. We'll, not a big deal. Set that there. I think it's clean for now. Check on our chickens. The, uh, test track for the chickens is still being constructed so these guys are they're on a break for now on a little vacation I wonder how how our eggs are doing uh, 43 eggs so yeah the egg count is going up that is very good and we have a reproduction rate I am thrilled with this so we will be up at our limit in no time on chickens and we will have to sell some so good that's a very good thing Got a little grass in the bunker, getting ready to to fill that thing up once we get 6 and 12 planted. And the old cow pen looking, looking a little deserted and lonely, but that's alright. It'll get there. So, there's our sheep. Yeah, 38 sheep have filled up that little paddock there really quickly. May need to see about expanding our... Uh, our sheep holdings there but there we go that's Xavier that's who we came for Let's see if we can run down the hill there without breaking our leg hey buddy hey you ready to go let's see where's the there we go that's the gate jump on oh, excuse me uh, hey there we go there we go all right, let's get out of here before glue tries to get out. We don't want that guy escaping before his uh, oh date. Yeah, we called it a date, didn't we? Stay right there, glue. Nothing bad will happen to you, buddy. I promise. We'll be right back. So, I guess we'll just. Uh, Easy there. We don't need to go that fast. Take a little ride, I guess. We'll go down here, uh, go around, jump on the road, and make a little circle back up to the farmhouse. Uh, maybe go that way and, and down to the valley a little bit. I think is what we'll do. Take a little ride, try to stay off the main roads. We have to come down here and do some organizing. We're looking a little sloppy down here in our pens. Not not good so let's see well there is the dirt road right here yeah let's do that let's take this little road goes up under the railroad trestle we'll take this and ride it down to the bottom of the valley there see what's going on down there pick it up a little bit come on Xavier stretch your legs buddy Never gonna be a world class racehorse with that kind of pace. Yeah, I think this is a, a 
perfect track for Xavier. Right across the street. And I think if we take a left here. Oh, through the bushes. Watch out, Xavier. Watch out, buddy. So this is behind the spinnery. That's the spinnery right there. This is where we need to bring our wool. I think this is the spinnery. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is... This is it. Oh, watch out there, Xavier. Oh, buddy. Watch out. Watch out, buddy. You're supposed to show people you can do that. That's a top secret trick there. Alright, so. We'll see. We can take this back up. It should lead us right up to our farmhouse, maybe. One of these roads. This one, or... That one over there. Who knows? Be this one, and maybe take a left. Whoa, 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 Xavier. Hey, buddy, hey. Crazy horse, crazy horse coming through. Watch out, buddy. He's going to crash me up in the trees, knock me all off. <laughs> Watch out, wild man. He is ready to go, I tell you. Okay. So I didn't bring it out. Um, but the one I thought it did. I thought that road would be the one that come out right behind the farmhouse, right at the top of the hill near the church up there. But I suppose you'd have to ride a whole lot further down the valley for that one. There's another one right there. Goodness. Little trails everywhere around here for Xavier to ride on. This guy probably doesn't even need us. He could just go walk himself out through here. Looking good, looking good. So, let's see. Yeah, this trail right here. Alright. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to ride it down to the bottom of the valley just to uh, get familiar with it. I think for the length of time we need to ride, this is probably the better trail. I think it will take a little longer. So, uh, slow down so I don't break my neck going down through here. But, yeah. Let me... Uh, let me finish riding Xavier for the day, and I will go ahead and get glue taken care of, and then we will catch back up with you. Okay, we got done with Xavier and the horse, um, whatever his name was, glue, the other one, <laughs> whatever, yeah, don't get too attached, right? Um, we have to take care of the sheep now, I forgot, we did a... Uh, 38 sheep sitting in the paddock down there and whoa watch out for that fence post oh, throttle got stuck on me there that thing is oh, that's dangerous we'll have to get that taken care of I'm sure an investigation will be underway there to see what happened so anyways we have to go to the sheep to get them taken care of and I want to run this down to do a little test and see if I can hook up to either the small tipper or the water trailer with this. It would be really great if we could take care of the animals with this and you know have all the tractors out doing other field work. So do a little test, see what we can get away with here. Uh, there's the water trailer there. Oops. Thing turns too good. Turns too good. Turns like Xavier does. And yep. Yeah, all right. So that's a good start. We'll see here. Okay. They must not have been very thirsty. Oh, watch out. Let's run this up. We'll top off the sheep. And then we will come back for that tipper right there and see, see if we can hook up to it. That'd be great. At least we got one out of two. We know we can do that, so... That's always a good thing. Let's see. Watch out, little sheep. Watch out, little sheep. Coming through, wild man. Crazy man, coming through. 
How on earth did we do that? <laughs> Definitely a rise right there, isn't it? Do a little, do a little landscaping work, smooth that out. Oh goodness! Thirty-eight sheep are thirsty. They drink the whole. Wow! All right. So we'll pull that out because we got to fill this thing back up. But, let's see, we can do that here in just a minute. Let's leave that up here. And go down and see if we can grab the tipper. See if we can get that up here. I was not expecting them to drink that much water. Goodness. Let's see, drop that, get out of the way. So if we could get hooked up to this thing, that would be great. Now, I don't know about this one. I think this one takes a ball. No, nope, there we go. Whoa. She does not like it, does she? Let's see if we can, see if we can load it up and take it over there. It's hooked up, but it doesn't really care for it, that's for sure. Oh, hey, we only have 8,000 liters in there. Let's take it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll pull it. No problem. Doesn't even know it's back there. Ooh, may have to get a bigger one. If they're going to drink that much water... Oh, come on. There it is. Had to drive all the way out before we got the prompt. Yeah, if the sheep are going to drink that much water, stands to reason they're going to eat that much hay. So we don't want to keep... Uh, you don't want to have to fill the tipper up twice each time you're going to feed them. That's... That'll get old really quick. Let's see, hey, 2,500, 250,000, oh, sorry, 2,500. <laughs> All right, so let's see how much these guys take. We may have to figure out a different feeding schedule or routine for these guys. They did a good job with the animations on this. It, emptying and filling the trailer looks a lot better than it used to. And, uh, was it dynamic filling, they call it, I think? Where it actually looks like it fills up, you know, from one end to the other. Ah, so we did find the limit. Not quite two trailer fulls. So there you go. Other than a little bit of water, the sheep are taken care of. Chickens are good. And Xavier's good. There you go. I like it. We have got our chores done for the day. It is only 9.42 in the morning. So we still have plenty of time left today to do some field work. Uh, Joe and Jesse are already out there, so... Oh, wait. <laughs> That's the wrong side, silly. I was trying to put this back in the barn. <laughs> Wondering why I couldn't get it to go in there. Yeah, no wonder. Anyways, like I say, Jesse and Joe are already out in the fields. Uh, they are... I think they're over in field 11, getting ready to start over there. They're going to start plowing, we're going to lime it, then we're going to cultivate everything. So, I think that's the plan. But there we go, I got that dropped off. Uh, chickens sheep and horses are good so yeah life is good here at jockey inc we are moving forward hit the ground running uh, it's time to go make some money so we'll get uh try to stay diversified as much as we can try to make that money in a few different places so i think i think the groundwork is laid i think we're doing a good job 
now it's just a matter of uh, putting in a little work and making a little money so with that being said I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me I am golf cart jockey and I want you to have a good day <laughs>